I'm glad you're here. I always be with you. I'm glad. And the stars are just taking me to all that stuff. After all this time, taking me to all that. Oh, it's not. It's just some stuff my dad taught me. Those like you. I'm like her. 
Is it true? Well... I'll just let you stay in the yard if I need to? Cause I need to. Camp out. Cause I'm where I need to be. This is the farthest I've ever traveled. I'm from the part of the country that's a little closer to things. Never been this far north before. Or east. And did you know that Maine is the only other state in the country that's attached to only one other state? Um... It is! Feels like the end of the world. And here I am at the end of the world. And I have nowhere else to go. So I was counting on staying here, unless it's not true. I mean, is it true? Well... Would you let a hiker who's where she needed to be just camp out in New York for free? Well... I mean, if the person really needed to? Well... Really, really needed to? Well, if the person really needed to, sure. Oh, I'm so glad then! Thank you! Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. It's okay. I just really need to be here and do this, so thanks. Sure. So... Oh no. Oh god. What? I need that. Oh, here. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay. So, you're just looking for a place to see the Northern Lights from? Yeah, just tonight. Well, you know, you may not see him tonight, because you never really oh, know. Oh no, I'm seeing them tonight, because this is the right time. Solar activity is at the Latin Peak. And I'm in a good place. Your latitude's good. Well, as good as it can be under the circumstances. See, I was gonna go to a higher latitude, like up to Canada somewhere. But I forgot to need my passport, so I couldn't. And Alaska is just too far away. So, this was the closest place I could get into in lower 48 states and see the Northern Lights regularly. So I flew and I took a bus and I hiked to get here. So, anyway, everything's in order. And boy, you have a good sky for seeing them. It's so big and dark and it's not here. No trees in the way. Used to be a potato farm. Oh. Makes for a big guy. Yeah. So, you're a farmer? No, used to be a potato farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Fix things. Oh. What? You're not a lobster man. No. I guess I thought everyone from Maine was a lobster man. You talk to them that funny? Way like they do in Maine, and you don't talk that way. No, you're not down east. You're up north, then. This is how we talk at north. Pretty much. Oh. No real access up here. Oh. Plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. It'd be an awful long ride to work if I was a lobster man. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Thank you for letting me stay here and do what I need to do. It's important that I do it, and I've had a pretty rough go of things lately, and I just really appreciate your kindness and understanding, and... Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry I did that. It's just... you... you seem sad. Um... And also... I think I love you. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I saw you through my window and... I love you. Um... okay. Well, that's a real nice thing to say, but I'm not... I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Oh, no, I didn't think I'm you were. I'm going to pay my respects to my husband. Oh, no. Yeah, my husband was. I'm here to say goodbye to him because he died recently. Oh, geez. Yeah, um, Tuesday, actually. And see, the Northern Lights, did you know this? The Northern Lights are really the torches that the recently departed carry with them so they can make their way home to heaven. And see, it takes us all three days to make his way home to heaven. And this is Friday. This is the third day. So you see, I will see them because of their him. He will be carrying one of the torches. And see, I did leave things very well with him, so I was just hoping I could come here and say goodbye to him. But what you did there just a second ago, that's going to get in the way of me saying goodbye to him, I think, or something. So maybe I should just go find another car. No, no. Yeah. I'm sorry I did that. I don't know what happened. Well, I do. I know what happened. I'm not the kind of person that usually does things like that. 
please, don't go. Just do what you need to do, and I won't bother you. Maybe just consider what I did, uh, a warm maid welcome or something. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna let you do what you need to do. Alright? Alright. Alright. Thanks. Sure, and sorry about all that. It's okay. Just give a holler if you need anything, okay? Okay. Hey, thanks for letting me stay here and do what I need to do. I really appreciate it. Sure. Um, my name's Glory, just so you know. Okay, hi, Glory. Hi. I'm East. Huh? My name's East. For Easton. It's a town. A little ways that way. Where I was born. Messed up on the birth certificate. A son, Easton, born on the 6th day of January, in the town of Matthew, Maine. Instead of the other way around. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, happy birthday a few weeks late. Thanks. <laughs> so, <coughs> Easton. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have student meeting here on the way here. And by the way, where is here? Where am I? I couldn't find it on my map. Um, almost. What? You're in uncapped territory. Township 13, range 7. It's not going to be on your map, because it's not an actual town, technically. What do you mean? Well, you see, to be a town, you got to get organized, and we never really got around to getting organized, so we're just almost. Oh. Okay, well, like I said, just give a holler if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? What's wrong? My heart. What? Are you okay? My heart. What? You have my heart. I what? In that bag. It's in that bag. Oh. Please give it back to me. Please. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Is that what you just said? That your heart? Yes. It's heavy. I guess. Why do you have it in that bag? It's how I carry it around. Why? Because it's broken. And what happened? Wes broke it. Your husband? Yeah, he went away. Oh. It was someone else. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, and when he did that, I felt like my whole would break. And that's exactly what happened. Hard up and cracked in the tooth. Hurt so bad I had to go to the hospital. And when I got there, they told me they were going to have to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor. It broke into 19 pieces. Slate. Turn to slate. Great for Rogan. <laughs> How do you breathe? Huh? If oh. Your heart is in that bag. How are you alive? Artificial. Really? Yeah, because my uh, real one's broken. And there's always a shortage of real hearts for transplants, so I got an artificial one. Oh. So, why do you still have this one? Because it's my heart. Well, why do you carry it around with you like that? Well, I don't usually, but since it's the one that loves us, I figured I might want it with me when I say goodbye to him. But it's broken. Yeah. Because of him? Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I really Why do you pay your respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do to a person that you pay him your respects. It seems to me that a man who leaves somebody doesn't deserve any respect. Well, I just didn't leave things very well with him either. What do you mean? And, and I need to apologize. Why do you left I know, but. Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him! Oh.
Oh, God, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm so sorry I did that. Don't be. I love you. What? No. Yeah. Well, don't. Why? Because I have a heart that can pump blood. The one that does the other stuff is broken. It doesn't work anymore. Let me have this. No, it's not. I can fix it. What? No. Glory. Give it back to me now. But it's broken. Please. It's no good like it's this. It's my heart. Yes, it is. And I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman. It's what I do. Oh, you don't catch 
Gosh, I had a fight when we were through to find you. 
but I did it. I found you. So, what'd you need? What can I do you for? Another bud? No, no, no. I'll stay. Oh, pal. Oh, no, remember, like I said, you need to tell me special. Drinks are free if you're sad. Just tell me you're sad, and you'll drink free. Just say the word. Let me know. Because I know you're sad, and you're looking for Okay, well, my name's Billy, you can use me. Just ask for Billy. Billy! Like 
the opposite of God. What? Well, you see, army boards can hurt me, but I shouldn't be afraid of them. But God, my brother Bob says, God won't hurt me, but I should fear him. He gasps. Boy, this is getting very complicated. What is? The whole business about learning what hurts, what doesn't hurt, what to be afraid of, and what not to be afraid of. Are you sure you're okay? You're just going on and on about crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. See, I have congenital analgesia, he thinks. What? Congenital analgesia. Who thinks? My brother Bob. Some people call it congenital insensitivity to pain, but it all just means I can't feel pain. You can hit me if you want to, to see. No. Go ahead, it won't hurt, see? Ow! See? Ow! See? Ow! Go ahead. No! 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 Okay. You don't have to. Most people don't. Hit me. Most people just go away. You can go away too if you want to. That's what most people do when I tell them about myself. My brother Rob says I shouldn't tell people about myself because I scare them. So, I recently put myself on the list of things to be afraid of. See? But... Oh, no! I'm sorry! Oh, I, oh my gosh! I just clocked you! You hit me! Most people go away, but you! You hit me! I had to see, but are you okay? Yeah! I don't feel pain! Don't feel pain, but of course you're okay. But are you sure? Is, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? <laughs> no. Then I'm okay? No, buddy, you can be hurt and not even look like it. But trust me, there are things that hurt you that make you bruised and bloody, and there are things that hurt you that don't make you bruised and bloody, and they all hurt. Hi, my name's Marlon. Hi, Marlon. I'm Steve. Hi, Steve. I just moved in, so I don't know many people here. What room are you? Room three, second floor. Oh, we're on the third floor, room seven. Yeah, right above us. We saw you and your husband move in. Oh, she's not my husband. He's just my boyfriend, Eric. Oh. Yeah, our roof collapsed from all the snow in December. We're just here so we can get our feet back on the ground. Oh, well, that's good, because that's what my Dudley says her boarding house is for. A place where people can go until they get their feet back on the ground. But my brother Rob says we've been trying to get our feet back on the ground our entire lives. Oh. Yeah, it takes some people a lot longer to do that than others. Yeah. You guys are loud. Huh? You and Eric, you yell and bang. We're right below you. Oh. Sorry about that. We're going through a rough patch. Happens. Sorry. What's it like? What's what like? To not feel pain. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to hurt, so I don't know. Is this how you were born? Yeah, I don't have fully developed pain sensors. They're immature, my brother Rob says, and because they're immature, and because they're mature, my development as a human being has been retarded, he says. But he teaches me what hurts, though. Why? So that I don't wound myself. I need to know what hurts so I know when to be afraid. Because, see, my mind can't tell me when to be afraid because my body doesn't know what being hurt is. So I have to memorize what might hurt. And what to be afraid of. Things like... Bears. And fire. And guns, and knives, and fear. Now, I should fear fear itself. And pretty girls. Pretty girls? Yeah. Why should you be afraid of pretty girls? Well, because my brother Rob says that they can hurt you, because they made you love them. What? And that's something I'm supposed to be afraid of, too. Love. But my brother Rob says I'm really lucky, because I'll probably never have to deal with love. If I, if I have a lot of deficiencies, not very many capacity, because of my congenital analgesia. Wait, what do you mean you're never going to have to deal with love? Why would you say that? Because I'm not going to know what it feels like. Well, how does he know that? Because it hurts. It shouldn't. And plus, I have a lot of deficiencies, and not very many capacities. You know what? A lot of people do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, are you all right? Are you okay? Is there any blood? No. <laughs> any, any discoloration? No. Then, I'm all right. Yeah, you are. I'm so sorry I did that. It's just, you're just very sweet. But, you have a boyfriend. Yes. Eric. Yup. 
and you're his girlfriend, right? Yeah. And if you're his girlfriend, and he's your boyfriend, that must mean you love each other, right? Yeah, we do, very much. But you just kissed me. Yup, I did. And you're doing your laundry on a Friday night. Yup, I am. And people who love each other, they don't do their laundry on Friday nights <laughs> to kiss other people. I've learned that. People who love each other, they go to the moose patty on Friday nights. Or they go dancing together, or skating. They kiss each other. They don't kiss other people. You, you know what? I think maybe you and your boyfriend don't actually love each other. You know what? I've been down here longer than I said I'd be, and he doesn't like that. Who? My boyfriend. Who you love? Yes. Very much? Yes. Even though you just kissed me? Yes. Boy, I'm gonna have to talk to my brother Rob about this. No! Don't talk to your brother Rob about this. Tell him to stop teaching you. What? Whatever he's teaching you, tell him to stop. What he's teaching you isn't something you want to know. But I have to learn from him. You know what? I gotta go. Right. You gotta go. You're, you're leaving. That's what people do. No, I just have to. I told you, Eric doesn't like it if... Your boyfriend. Yeah, he doesn't like it if I'm down here longer than I said I'd be, and I've been down here longer than I said I'd be.
what? Well, this is a ring. Is this a ring? A ring that you give to someone that you've been with for quite a long time to let them know that you're ready for what comes after people who've been together for quite a long time. Right? Yeah. Oh. But all the love I gave you. Where is it? It's right there. But it is. It's, it's right there. But it's right here. So much to know for you. Eleven. Over the eleven years. Eleven. Yeah. You gave me so much of it over the eleven years that I didn't even know what to do with it all. I put some in the garage, some in the shed, and after you asked me if I ever thought we were going to get married, there was more of that stuff than ever coming in. And I asked my dad if he had any suggestion what to do with it all. And he said, You going to recap? And I said, no. And he said, well, get it. When there's that much of when there's that much of that stuff coming in, there's only one place you can put it. He said it all fit. He was right. That thing's a lot bigger than it looks. So, there it is. All the love you gave me. It's not in the same form as when you gave it. Yeah. You still want it back? Yeah. I do. Well then, take it. Can I?
come. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Sorry for raising my voice and stuff, just, it's been a rough day and I, trusted you. Leaving you alone for a few hours. But you just had to go and make some huge mess. And not only am I always the one who ends up cleaning that stuff up, but, well, you know Sarah. She could throw you at any moment, man. Oh, I know I shouldn't freak out you, but I can't help. Sometimes, just, I, I, no, oh, I'm talking to myself, God! What? Probably because I didn't actually talk out loud today. I had a school. Anytime I'm around anyone, my tongue feels like it's got one of those bear traps just clamping down. And down here, the sky is so big, a voice can just disappear. Maybe you just ran up into that sky and joined a constellation. Is that where you went, Trevor? I feel like you like that. What will I do if you stay up there and don't come back this time? You are, you are all I've got, man. Because I'm a foster kid, Trevor. I've never known anyone for more than three years. But first time I saw you, you looked at me like you've always known me. Like, you could see straight through me and see. Well, who knows? You rescued me. Stupid as it sounds. When I was a kid, I thought I'd have a mad game when I grew up. I thought I'd be dating a, a supermodel. Or at least the prom queen. <laughs> Is that? I got you. Not what I was expecting at all. You're a you're a sloppy kisser, man. <laughs> Trevor! Man, it's freezing. I'm so tired of always chasing you and being stuck on the cold, just waiting for you to decide to come back. I want, just for once, I don't want to be the one chasing. I want someone behind me, chasing what if I did it? Huh? What if one of these times when you ran up there on your own, I just stayed, let you run? You think you can make it up there on your own? Let me tell you, it's a lot colder and wider and harder than it looks! I'm trying to miss.
try to make it to the next town on foot. Walk, walking down that dirt path they call a highway, I thought I was the only person on there. But who knows? You're, you're way faster. You got a thick coat. And I bet anyone sees you walking alone, someone would help you out. But who am I to say you should stay with me? Maybe you'd be happier out there.
pretty bad, huh? Where are you going? Doing something to a straw? Dean. We're doing something to a straw? Dean! You're too nice. Time get me. We're doing something to a straw? Dean. We are! Doing nothing to a straw. Relax. <laughs> Sure. She's so lucky to get to go out with you. No. Yeah. Look at what's saying. What are you doing, huh? Yeah. I'm kind of a little sad, too. So, I guess I win tonight, then, huh? So, I get to pick tomorrow, and I pick bowling. Supper at the Snowfield Club, a couple of beers at the Moose Patty. Hang out. I didn't say you were the big winner. What? Did I say you were the big winner? No. No, all that's pretty sad, Joe. And bad. But you didn't win. You can beat me told you smell bad. Yeah. All right then. Mine's face broke. His face broke. His face broke. Yeah. Told you it was bad. How did his face break? Why we were dancing. Dancing. Darren Lemans took you dancing. Yeah. Down at the rec center? Yeah. Father going out. I, I mean, I 
your wife. You have to. It's just going out and nothing's been coming out of it. I just I feel like I'm running out of each Don't say that. Don't say that. Lately, I've been wondering why I even bother going out on these streets. I don't like it, Tina. I hate it. I mean, why do I want to spend my Friday night with some guy I might maybe like? But I can be spending it with somebody I know, I like, like you, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was rough tonight. Your Todd tummy is different from the way I smell. Well, he doesn't smell all that great either. Not many of them do. <laughs> After he said that, I couldn't help but just get really sad. But it wasn't you. It, it wasn't you. No. I
lonely. You just, you don't pay attention anymore. You go away. And I don't know where you go, but you go somewhere where you don't pay attention, and you forget your son's first hockey game, and you forget Missy's birthday. How do you know it costs money? And you forget your anniversary. I mean, I brought you here hoping you'd remember about us, but you didn't. And that makes me so mad. I don't know what to do anymore. You lie. What? You lie so bad. What? You're mad at me. But you don't even tell me, even when I ask you over because and over. Because you wouldn't pay attention even if I did tell no, you. No, 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 because you don't know how to tell me what you feel like about me. So I never know where I am, where I stand. Maybe that's why I go away. So I can know where I am for a second. And you know what? It's lonely there too, where I go. And you sent me there. You went away a long time before I did. And now all you do is just Thank you. 
well, big strong guy, big athletic guy, all your stupid names, you know Well, don't even answer that. That was a horrible, I know it's a horrible question to ask a person who lives in a small town. As if everybody in a small town knows everyone else. I can't believe I asked that. I don't live here anymore, but when I used to, I hated it. When people I assumed I knew everyone in town just because it was small. It was even worse when they asked if we had plumbing boy up there. Because you know something? People in small towns really don't know each other that much better than they do in big towns. You know that? I mean, you know me, you know me, you don't know me, you don't know. Just like anywhere else. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. I was just so shy. When his parents passed away, he kept the house. I heard. He lived here. He stayed here, thought. He was one of the ones who stayed. I didn't stay. I don't know why. Most people did. Yeah, and I guess he did too. I never thought he would. I never. I guess I lost track. If you gotta hold on to people, you lose them. Wish there was something you keep them in for when you need them. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Perfect. <laughs> from Bangor to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. Yeah, this place is a little further away from things than I remember. Why? Because I want to answer the question he asked me. Oh. Last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question, and I didn't answer it. That's just not a very nice thing to do to a person. Well, that's being a little harder or something. He asked me to marry him. And you? too much credit. He was young. That's all you need to get your hopes dash. You're young. And everybody starts out young, so everybody gets their hopes dash. And besides, I don't think he really dashed his hopes, because if you dash him his hopes, well, that's kind of a nice way to put it. Because it hurts, but it's quick. If you would have said no, that would have been dashing his hopes. But you didn't say no. You didn't say anything. You just didn't answer it at all. And that's killing hope for long, slow, painful way. Because it's still there, just hanging on. Never really goes away. And that's kind of like giving somebody a little less hair to breathe every day.
called me Hope. How did you know my name? Danny? Hello. Danny, I didn't even recognize you. I know. I didn't even recognize you. I know. You didn't even recognize know. You're so different. Yeah, I uh, lost a lot of hope. I don't even know that. Kenny, I'm so sorry when you came back to Annie. Shh. It's okay. Do you know something? You're early. What? You're early. You said you'd be back with an answer to my question before the song came over me. Jeez and crow. The sun's not even close to being up yet. It only went down a few hours ago. Look how early it is. It's good of you. So a taxi all the way from Bangalore. Yep. To tell me. Honey, Sam, Han, who's there? Just someone looking for directions. It's also late for directions. Yes, yeah, Suzette. Listen, I'll be right in. Okay. I. What? I hope you find it out. Your place in this world. What is it? 
you mean, what is it? Can you see what it is? It's a picture. Yeah. A painting. Yeah. Where did you get this? It looks homemade. What do you mean it looks homemade? I mean, it looks like somebody actually painted it. Somebody actually did paint it. Yeah. For me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh, I mean, thank you. There you go. Thank That's you. what I was There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Dave, I didn't know you painted. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a dull bed with the high school nights. Merle Lousen's teaching it. It's pretty good. This is my version of one of those stare at it and they see the thing thing. Ever seen one of those? Some of the older painters did it with a bunch of dots. They called it something. Now I did a bunch of box colors. If you look at it like a bunch of box colors, you're just going to see a bunch of box colors. But if you step back and look at the whole thing, you don't see a bunch of box colors, but you see a picture of something. Picture of what? I'm not going to tell you. You got to figure it out yourself. Come on, Dave. No, it'll take a little time. It'll be a little frustrating. Why would you give me something that's going to frustrate me? No, no, it's just, you got to try it. Now, look at it. That's the frustrating part. What are you talking about? You got to check it. Yeah. Well, what the... Who else says that? 
Marcy. Marcy? Yeah, and Phil. Marcy and Phil? Yeah, and Dina and Shelly. Dina and Shelly? And Margo and Gail. What? And Marla and Gail. Marla. And Jimmy Sentry. And it's Easter. Yeah, that's just the name of you.
Next, next? Yeah. Well, why don't we go inside and I'll show you. How long is this gonna take? Well, I could say, oh, night. Or maybe longer. Oh, but wait. We're working first shift at the mill tomorrow. That's it.